Welcome to the third episode of the Home Brewery Rebuild series. HBR, as we're going to try and dub it. Um, first off, thank you so much for all of the um, interaction and comments and support on the last two videos. Um, it's been unprecedented on my channel, so massive thank you to every single one of you for that. Um, it makes taking the time to pick up the camera during this process um, a lot more um, worthwhile. Absolutely, absolutely. So, in this episode, I'm hoping to install the drainage system so I'm not too concerned about the outside drainage system into the sewers just yet. I, that will get completed but I just want to get the shed done and dusted so the concrete can start curing and then we can start proper building and bringing the equipment back in. Yeah and we've not been up to the best start due to size differences I've had to make this slight um, reducer um, going up to the adapter size and then that's a straight connector then onto the pipe I've taken this out of the middle here it's basically like a like a stink trap if you like um, and as I said this isn't going to be connected to the sewers just yet and this is very very restrictive so if you can see in there, that is the only flow out of a 50 mil two inch hole. That is absolutely tiny. So we're not gonna get much flow through that at all. So I'm removing this and we'll just have it with a grate on top. So look pretty smart, I think. Let's get measuring up and then drill through the wall. Also, before we get too far into this, huge thanks to my mate Tony for letting me borrow his uh, core drill. Absolute legend, thank you mate. So, we're going to be going centre of the pad which is going here and we're going to go centre of the window as well. Uh, which should be round about here, next to these services coming in. Just make sure these are going to be tight as well when we do come to concrete. Yeah, we're all good, man. And if these bends were to fail at any point, there's no dramas. I can just drill another hole above the concrete and install some more water inlets. 191 centimeters it's not even two meters wide this shed it's tiny in it 95.5 <laughs> that took me way too long to do that 95.5 hi there you go. ah delivery thank you hey core drill sorted thanks oh i'm gonna go to the bike shop <laughs> yeah no worries Oh, check that out. A bit pricey, but I'm going to give it to my mate Tony to go as part of his, his existing kit. Just as a thank you gift for letting me borrow his drill. Because I don't need it without the drill, do I? Good darts. 65 mil, this is, by the way. Give us plenty of wiggle room. So the depth of this platform is going to be about 600 mil, 60 centimetres, in old money, 23 and a half inches. And this will be sitting in the middle with a little bit of a, a slope from either side coming down to it from 100 mil. I think that should be sufficient. So it's clear to me that my mate Tony has uh, forgotten to give me the adapter for a, to run a pilot and a core drill at the same time. Not to go all the way through the wall, but at least to, to start it off. So I'm going to have to wing it with just going straight away with the core. What's the worst that could happen? I'm going to get a 
cardboard box first and lay it on here because this is a brand new drill that Tony gave me so I don't want to scratch it up on its first maiden voyage okay here goes nothing dun, 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 dun. So it's the following day, I'm severely hungover, <laughs> um, went out yesterday with my martial arts pals and came in at 2 o'clock this morning. So what better hangover cure is there but to celebrate the hole in the wall and to put some form work up and lay a concrete slab. So let's get on with it. So that's the drain all PVC welded up, nice and solid, we'll move it to the required position as well. So that's looking good. Next up, let's get on with some formwork across here. So I've had a bit of a recalc and a readjustment of this drain and now it's about a 20 mil drop from the intended surface of the concrete to the drain. So a nice slope either side and from this side and from the back here as well. We also have quite a nice fall from here through the wood shed, this side, wood, wood store, not a wooden shed, a wood store. Um, so it should drain absolutely perfect. The last thing I wanted to do was to install this and then all of a sudden have a massive puddle here where the water doesn't drain out that way. That would, have, that would be hell. So that's the formwork complete, nice and sturdy. Uh, I'm just going to mark up the edges uh, after I've got my spirit levels and set this in place and cover it with something like cling film or something like that just to make sure that I don't get any flipping concrete into the uh, into the drain itself. A nice cup of tea and if you're wondering hmm that looks like brandy in this glass you'd be correct and it's not midday yet I'm feeling so rough it's gotta be here of the dog. Yechida. Wowzers. Right, let's go and get the cement mixer. <laughs> oh. Why do I do it to myself? Oh, oh that's a winter warmer. Yeah. Okay. Down. 
Yeah, it's good. It's already turned now, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Oh. Like turning a little bus in here, isn't it? There you go. <sighs> Done. <laughs> Show us your <laughs> <laughs> So I think that's a pretty cool shot. Whoa, yeah. So Tessney's joined us because she's that interested in mixing concrete, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Randomly. So what are we going for, Tess? Right, listening? We've already got ready mixed ballast. Mm -hmm. which is made of stone and sand. Yeah. So we're going to do four ballast to one cement. So four spoonfuls, it's like making a cake. Four of them to one of them. Okay. Okay, and we need to put the hose pipe on and put water, a bit of water with it. Okay. So we want to make sure that this mix is quite firm because we need to form it quite well. The last thing we want is it to be too runny and it'll just end up forming an absolute solid base, which is no use for me at all. So, should we put the mixer on? Yeah. And Barry's joined us. Hey boy, can we? Here, here, here. Off he goes. Don't you dare pee on them. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get cracking. <laughs> Imagine if he fell. What if I fell in it? Thanks. bigger mixes, do we? Yeah. And there we have it. Concrete drain complete. I'm quite pleased how it's turned out. Uh, it's not perfect by any means. And it's the first time that I've actually laid concrete and I suppose it's difficult enough to get things level but when you're purposefully trying to build it so there's a fall to it it's even more difficult I think so yeah pretty chuffed just gotta wait for I think a couple of days for this to go off we'll take the form work off and then we'll get with the painting or treating the walls first then we'll get with the painting and then we can start bringing stuff back in so, thank you very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Yechida.